We usually say new year, new me, but this year it holds an entirely different meaning. This year's 2019 Congress is more diverse than ever. And with the representative from Michigan already making waves in Congress. The most striking figure is that this Congress swore in a record number of women. Women from across the country and both parties all make historic fits. In Texas, the state elected its first two Latino women. The youngest female representative, Alexandria or Ocasio-Cortez, was elected in New York at only 29 years old. To put this into perspective, the current senior, senior class was in kindergarten when she was in her senior year of high school. Tennessee sent its first female senator to Washington as well, Republican Marsha Blackburn. Nancy Pelosi became Speaker of the House, the first and only woman to ever held that position. And close to home, Michigan Representative Rashida Tlaib became one of the first two Muslim women to be elected. You may have heard her in headlines recently for heavily criticizing the president to mixed reactions. If there's one thing we're going to see is that Congress is going to look more and more like the re American public represents. Democrats took control of the House of Representatives looking to stop Trump's policy on building a wall and restricting immigration. There's a greater chance your voice and opinions are being used in Congress. The more diverse the makeup of Congress, be it in race, gender, or political thought, the more likely it is you will be directly representative. There is, this is always healthy for a democracy. Even if we don't like the stances and political opinions of representatives or those who elect them, it is still the best way of making sure everyone's voice is heard on the national stage. I'm Tommy Habib, reporting for Laker Update.